Okay, then this is the second step that you need to do, which is to log into your control panel of your WordPress. To access it, simply type in the URL of the root location of your WordPress installation that you did on your GoDaddy account. And then after that, type this in. It will bring you to a page like this. Simply type in your user ID and password and it will bring you to this view. So once you're here, click on this and click Add New Plugin. This will allow you to search for the shopping cart. Click on Search Plugin and you'll see a whole list of entries. Okay, just look for this version 3.78 and click install. If you see this, click OK. So the installation process for the WP e commerce should actually begin shortly. Once you're done, you'll see this particular view and click activate plugin. So after you have clicked Activate Plugin, you see that this one is uh, light in color. And on the left side, you have this new thing showing up. Just click on this and click on Settings first. This scenario assumes that you're actually using a PayPal. So what you do is to just click on the PayPal standard payments and click update. Click PayPal standard and then type in your PayPal ID. Click update. Okay. So now you're done. However, I know that you will want to use the authorized.net payment system. This one is not free of charge, so you'll need to buy it by going to getshop.org extend premium upgrades. And you'll need to get this particular plugin for 40 US dollar. So you click add to cart and yeah go check out you bring it so once you're done buying this this site will allow you access to a particular zip file your job is to download that zip file onto your desktop and then uh, you need to go to fauzilla.org uh, fauzilla project project.org to download the Fauzilla client. Once you have downloaded that, I'm assuming that you know the password and ID. There, or probably I should be saying, GoDaddy has actually sent you the password and ID to access your hosting server via the FTP. Okay. So once you're connected, you should be seeing something like this. So you will need to navigate to your folder, and this is where you'll be uploading your plugin file, which means uh, the, uh, the particular zip file you actually got, right? Download, download it somewhere, extract all the contents, and go to this particular location and upload the folder over here. Once you're done with that, you could go back over here and 
click on plugins it will show up over here voila so you have basically set up the WordPress uh, e-commerce site with the authorized.net mm, payment option in place now for the products page which is over here it's like if you go to the front end it will if you click on products page you will see this is the mm, page where you actually have the overview of all your products and this is the page where you have the overview of all the items you can check out transaction results show what's actually happening if you are if you have already bought some stuff this is your account your payment history next WordPress design template so I'm assuming that your uh, you'll be buying a template that caters for the version 3 of WordPress and I'm just assuming that you are using a one level menu which is over here without a drop down like that mm -hmm. so I believe that the templates you'll be getting could easily be installed onto WordPress without much complications same thing when you get a new template what you do is this I am assuming that I have already got the template I like so I will navigate to the folder on my computer where I have unzipped the template from the zip file so I have a few templates already on hand I'll click on Teams. I will then choose to upload Mystic like this. So it'll be over here, Mystic. Once I have done this, I'll go to the back end and click on Themes. As you can see over here, I have a new template available for me to choose from. Simply click on this and click activate mistake once I'm done I'll go to the front end and do a refresh so voila uh, this has uh, this simple step that I have created uh, is like I have demonstrates to you will allow you to install the template you'll be buying a premium template I think it should be good hmm. so uh, if you want to create more tabs over here simply click on pages click add new and you click publish if you do a refresh it will show up over here so yeah six tabs right yeah just simply repeat this process and you have quite a few tabs hmm. and if you don't want your tabs to be sub menu or you want to actually rearrange them click on pages and let's see a new page this Suppose you want the new page to be over here and the about us to be over here. Click on quick edit. Indicate as one. Update. And quick edit. Zero. Update. And you'll see that the about us and new page has changed. Let's see. Uh, Suppose I want the products page to be all the way at the top, which is what's actually happening. No, it's not. So we need to shift about us after products page. Hmm. Do a quick edit and put one, update, 
quick edit, make it two and update. And if we do a refresh, products page comes first about us and new page. So you want to change the name, right? Click on quick edit and click about us. Yeah, voila. It's pretty interesting, pretty cool. Uh, so if you don't want this uh, pages to be in the sub menu, click on quick edit under parent, put main page, no parents. And yeah, you should set the order over here properly. Voila, checkout has appeared on the main root level. Yeah, so it's quite simple and straightforward to do. Uh, hopefully this helps. If not, do send me an email. Mm, yeah.